evening, my name's Alex Campbell. And I'm Mark Palmer. And you're watching two drunk Aussies discuss the future of sugars. <laughs> yeah, discuss the future of Star Wars. <laughs> Articulate, <laughs> intelligible. Look at us go, Mark. We can review things. Actually, they're pretty badass. That's totally making it into the three year best of dissecting two anniversary video. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud. Actually, I'm proud to be a part of all of this. Um. <laughs> I'm glad you love sitting in my garage and drinking beers and talking about stuff. Bro. In your studio. Studio. <laughs> so there's been some murmurings in the world of Star Wars. The Mandalorian has come out to a raving success. The Rise of Skywalker has come out to a raving... Something. <laughs> I mean, it, the, no. a, a, a raving... It, there's other versions of it which could have been better. <laughs> mm, yeah, there are other edits, other cuts of it with JJ and... I actually have a heap more to discuss than just that one thing we were talking about, so you're... Mm -hmm. you ready that? <laughs> I'm ready, man. You I'm went fucking. You didn't know the issue, that one. Oh, I didn't know you were prepared, man. I'm not, but now I'm thinking I like about the way it. There's actually just, a lot. We, we just stopped oh, talking we, about Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. We, we, yeah, we didn't plan this video. This is not planned. This may take you by surprise. <laughs> Apart from the title and you clicking on it. And the fact that it's clearly just like... It's a whole separate video from the one we're talking about. To us, we just reviewed Vikings, but to you, it's just a separate video. Mm. So anyway, this is all kind no, no, the Obi-Wan shit isn't rumour. So Obi-Wan's been pushed back. There's no real rhyme or reason that's official, but basically the scripts aren't up to scratch and Lucasfilm. Well, Kathleen Kennedy didn't view them as up to scratch. I mean, I think that's the best way to put it. I like, don't... I'm not saying they were. No, she's... They might have been odd garbage and this might be a good thing that they're pushing it back. But I mean, uh, who the fuck knows? There's been so many like projects scrapped halfway mm -hmm. through. Rogue One, it's, at Solo. Least it's halfway through. Yeah, that's true. It's I mean, before, yeah, the, it's before pre-production. Yeah, that's true. But like, yeah, Gareth Edwards was meant to make the Rise of Skywalker. Rogue One, Solo. Yeah. Rogue yeah. One was cut up at the last moment. Solo, the directors were fired at the last moment. Ron Howard was brought in. Now Obi One's pushed back. I mean. Uh, apparently, according to Midnight, Midnight's Edge and the rumours, it was too similar to The Mandalorian. Something about Obi Wan by Ben Kenobi protecting Luke Skywalker. But what else is he going to do? I mean, there is nothing within the Star Wars film lore that I know about. Possibly in the extended universe, he does stuff. But like within the the actual film, covers that area. Like, yeah, I don't think there he, is a he, lot. He sits on Tatooine, and smokes death. Well, sticks. to be fair, he does, I know I know for a fact he's not particularly involved in Luke's life. He, 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 well, that, he that's the idea, right? He knows him, though. You mean, oh, Ben Kenobi, like, the oh, way he ben talks about it, he's like, oh, I remember that guy, yeah. sort of thing. I like the way that he just changed his first name to avoid Order 66. <laughs> You've got, like, this massive, like, imperial fucking army coming towards Too you, killing more One of the most iconic Jedis of all time killed the first Sith Lord to appear in, like, 10,000 years. Okay, for one, <laughs> sorry, Obi-Wan Kenobi is iconic to us because he was a main character. As far as the Jedi Order goes, according to Palpatine, for instance, Obi -Wan, it, Anakin, he was shocked and appalled that Anakin lost to Obi Wan because he didn't consider him a particularly important Jedi. Because for one, Obi Wan, one thing that was so respectful about Obi Wan Kenobi is that he had to work harder because he wasn't as sensitive to the Force as majority of the Jedi. He didn't have like the physical talents of Anakin. No, but I mean, well, he, no, 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 not even Anakin, but two a standard Jedi Obi Wan was like here because he wasn't as force sensitive. Apparently, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, he, had but to, he, he just was also. Do you struggle. know why he became a master? I have no idea. He he was he was the he became mastered the first one to master a specific defensive lightsaber. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name, but the reason he did that is because. It was because Qui Gon failed so much at defense against lightsabers, which caused his death in the Phantom Menace. Yeah. So that's why Obi Wan changed his lightsaber style to defense against lightsaber. Okay. That's and Obi Wan mastered that form yeah. better than anyone else, and that's why he got given the rank of master. That's interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Hmm. Yeah. So apparently the series has been pushed back. Like Ewan McGregor has come out and said, yeah. Uh, 
Also, Tatooine, you know, it's run by the Huts. Yeah. It's yeah. not an Empire planet. But I still feel like Darth Vader would be making it his personal mission to find him. I mean, Darth Vader kind of had this connection with Obi-Wan. And we, I mean, possibly recognise the name Kenobi. I mean, you know, alright, alright. It's a vast desert planet, though. It'd be easy to get lost in. To be honest, what actually happened was George Ru <laughs> George Lucas wrote a movie where Obi-Wan Kenobi had changed his name to Ben. And then later on, 20 years later, he wrote another movie where Order 66 happened. And the clones come after to kill all the Jedis, which is how he explained it. But when he made like the Ben to Obi-Wan shift, he had no idea that the hunt was that crazy or specific, that like Atacadamundi or Plo yeah. Koon died. It's just kind of like Lucas like trying to pick up where he left off. No, it's a hundred percent. Oh, know? Ben Kenobi. It's never going to be a hundred percent when you make movies that way. <laughs> but like, Order sixty six two, while it was like this huge impact at the start, they, when they were hunting down Jedi, it's a lot harder to hunt them down than it is to execute them out of surprise when they were fighting. Yeah, the, on the and I, um, maybe Order sixty six will come into the Obi Wan series. I don't know. I know for a fact it's going to be in the next season of Clone Wars. Yeah, I like there's, the trailer there's the for siege, that. The siege of Mandalore, it um is literally happening at the same time as Revenge of Which the Sith. Which is mentioned in the end of the Mandalorian, like the Night of a Thousand Tears or something. Yeah, the siege. Of, yeah, yeah. There's some shit goes down. We're really excited to see it actually. I mean, I've never watched Clone, Wars, so I watch this trailer. I'm like, that looks cool, but it's like it's like watching season seven of The Sopranos trailer. Like, uh, I don't know yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I think she had to just try and, the, the, the try and nudge you to watch it. I'll get there, man. I'll definitely get there. I want to rewatch SG1. And oh my of... god. Just watch the list I give you of the Clone Wars. It cuts out all the shit. And then it, it only took me like maybe two months to watch the whole series. I'm watching The Expanse at the moment. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I have. Chrissy's watched the first season. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah, it, like, it actually takes space travel and sci-fi seriously. Oh. Like, just the idea of travelling through space. Like, space is dangerous. And travelling through space in ships has it's, consequences. It's, it's not like Star Wars dangerous Star in Trek. sci-fi. No, no, no. Star Wars and Star Trek is like, eh, docking. We dock, you know, airlocks, we walk through. But this is like... <sighs> And it's, it's like for adults, like, oh, fucking Doctor Who, Doc, new season of Doctor Who has come out, and it's just for fucking children. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you cunts doing? <laughs> but everyone, so apparently it's been cut down from, it was already a miniseries. I was not aware it was a miniseries. Neither was I. Not Six episodes, it's been cut down to four episodes. Four fucking episodes. Do you remember? <sighs> I've won like 10 episodes. There's better be at least an hour. Like, I swear to God, they have to be at least a fucking hour. Do you remember when, like, Next Gen was like 24 episodes per season? Yeah. SG1 was like Seriously, 22 days, episodes per season. Don't even have to be fucking five episodes, man. <laughs> Rick and Morty, I know it's only half two seasons, but when Vikings does half a season, they do 10, 10 episodes, fucking yeah. decent length episodes where so much shit happens. Viking. <laughs> Rick and Morty does 20 fucking three minute episodes or whatever, mm. and it's they, they released five for the last mm. season. I mean, production value and expenses are a lot bigger on television than I've ever been before. Television is still like dog shit. Uh, I mean, I don't know, computers and shit is progressing, but Rick and Morty would be I don't feel like it's over the top expensive. I, I have no idea. I'm, I don't have really to stand on here, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I can speculate how much an episode of Rick and Morty costs, but honestly, There's I, no point. I'm guessing. My, my point is, yes, they used to release 25 episodes was the standard. Yeah. So the point is, everyone is getting pushed back. And George Lucas apparently has... Wants to jump in on it? I don't know if that's a good thing. No, no, no. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? We need to let the old kook have a movie so we can review it. <laughs> it's not necessarily going to be good. In fact, it's probably not going to be good. We need the to give kook. we need to give the old senile man complete control of Star Wars, just as a joke, just to see what he does. What does he do, Mark? He made what the prequel cool trilogy. <laughs> I mean, that's what he made about like twenty years ago. But what would fucking Lucas do now with the fourth side of the sequel trilogy failing? And the I do think he feels great. Like people hate the sequel. Of course he does. Prequels. 
But they hate the sequels. He Whoa. was honestly like really hurt emotionally at the lash back against the prequels. Like you can tell in interviews. No, that's what caused like, like, it. Like he said, everyone fucking hated what I did, so I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> like he honestly said that. He's like, you know, what? fuck this, everyone fucking hates me, I'm done. <laughs> I get I'll it. sell it to Disney. Dude, I get it. Fuck I, hate, I would have done the fucking same. Like, I'm sorry, that um, the amount of backlash the prequels mm. got, he like... You can't avoid that. People say, like, stay off so Like, if you're a celebrity, stay off social media, don't to read the comments. If you're certain celebrities, you can, but, like, Star Wars is so big and it's so <laughs> part of, like, the zeitgeist. You can't escape it. It's not, it's not the comments on your Facebook, it's on the fucking news. <laughs> like, you tune onto the news and it's like, Star Wars sucks. walks down the street and someone goes, Oh, you really fucked up, George, you're big, did you? God! <laughs> you're a hack in your fight! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, look, this is complete rumor just based on that Midnight's Edge video. I haven't looked into it. I haven't, I haven't either. I, haven't, I watched that video today. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. But basically, if he has said, hey guys, I'm willing to come back. You just need to give me complete control for this specific but film. But did he, Bob Iger said in his actual like fucking memoirs. memoirs that he would never give full creative control. Not to the complete franchise, like obviously it's a product just that's been sold that one Disney. thing. Like that movie. I'm pretty sure. Just out of curiosity's sake, like what does the man do? Yeah. What, what, would, he, what would he do with the movie? If you gave Lucas a movie now, at like how old movie. is Lucas? 106. Like, what would a 106 year old Lucas, <laughs> with the hindsight of the sequels, what would he make? What would be the story? What would happen? He already has something, but I'm sure over the years he's thought about what everyone was doing at that time. Surely. Yeah? What Ben Kenobi was up to. We all know what he's up to. Do you think he has anything to do with Ben though? Yeah, a lot of porn, a lot of sitting there and watching Netflix. Not Disney Plus. He went to Mos Eyes, he says, I'm um, scum and villainy, but he needs to go there for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never find my wretched hive of scum and uh, villainy. <laughs> <laughs> he's almost British. Well, he is, well, Obi-Wan is actually British. Alec Guinness is actually British. Yeah, Irish. But yeah, Uber. not Alec Guinness, sorry, I was thinking of. Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor's hardcore Scottish. So. Scottish, sorry, not Irish. But in the movies, he wasn't Scottish. Cause you, for I know fun, that. Because Alec Guinness was fucking English. Yeah, no, I, I, I um... I don't know, I, honestly, while I'm, I am excited for it, and I'm glad that they're stepping it back because they want it to be... That's good. a good idea, because there's been a lot of things, <coughs> Rise of Skywalker, that they pushed through, <coughs> Rise of Skywalker, which had a terrible script, <coughs> but they had a deadline they needed to meet, Rise of Skywalker. Could be helped, Rise of Skywalker, though. It needed to come out exactly two years after The Last Jedi, because that's what we do. We make trilogies and they'll come out two years after it. But the script's not ready. It sounds like garbage. Nothing makes sense. We don't have time to develop anything. Get it out, 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 get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Pumpkin's back. Star Destroyer is out of the thing. Da, da, da. All the Jedi are in my brain, blah, blah, blah. Right, he's like. Well, one thing that was cool about all that is Re the Dark Lord Revan became canon. Oh, was he one of the voices? No. How did he become canon? You know the Sith Troopers, the Red Storm Troopers? I do know them, yeah. Each um, squadron, battalion of those mm. Sith Troopers had a name for a different Sith Lord of, of ancient Sith Lords, and one of them was the Revan. Squadron. Yeah, well they've confirmed Revan. now that that trilogy that they've been fucking talking about for a thousand years is the old Knights of the Knights Republic. Of the Republic, but it's 500 years before, not 4,000. Like four, I mean, to be fair, I guess now a whole new canon, so they could technically make Revan 500 years before. World. But originally he was 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire. So they're not necessarily doing that storyline, but they, they've said the words, the Knights okay, of the Old okay, Republic. I'll put it this way. The line in <laughs> The Phantom Menace is the Sith have been extinct for a millennia, right? A thousand years? No, I think in... Um, they say a thousand generations. They say a thousand generations. No, no, a thousand generations the Jedi have, like, taught, blah, 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 blah. Okay. But they say the Sith have been extinct for a, a, for a, thousand, a thousand years. years. Which is when Darth Bane was a thing. But that was like a... In the, in the extended Legends continuity, there was a huge thing where he decided the Sith could no longer be up front against the Jedi and they needed to stop being direct and start like sort of hiding behind politics mm, smoke and shadows politics and all that sort of jazz which is why Palpatine 
that was rose to power deal. that way, you know? Yeah. Um, but that was a thousand years. Darth Bane was the first no- last notable Sith Lord. You know, but Revan was 3,000 years before Darth Bane. Yeah, so it's not necessarily going to be about Revan. It could be though, because they, 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 they not, set the word canon. In. No, so no. So they could rewrite it so it's only 500 years ago. Yeah, okay. But I mean, I don't think so. They're, they're, they're apparently, there's a rumor that they're remaking the original Knights of the Republic game, which is about Revan. They could be making it to lead into this new movie, or they could just legitimately be making it because it's a fan loved game. I have no idea. Who the fuck knows? But it makes me nervous because Revan's like one of my favorite of all time. Characters. And you love Keanu Reeves, and the rumors are that he is going to be playing Revan. <laughs> I mean, it's 500 years before, it's, it's not going to be Revan. Okay. It's not going to be Revan. Unless it is. So what else? That would be the ultimate stab in the back, eh? <laughs> Out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they might as well got more Farrell to play him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what else is happening in the Star Wars world, Mark? Um, apparently they're planning a new series following Rebels, but I haven't even finished Rebels yet, so... <laughs> Fol- following Ahsoka Tano, and there's a chance that Ahsoka may appear in The Mandalorian, which would make sense. I've heard that. That um, sexy African-American chick from Clerks 2 has said she wanted to play her. I guess maybe it wasn't her. It was somebody, some celebrity come out and said, I would like to play Ahsoka in live action. I'm I like, didn't picture Ahsoka being black, but she's an alien species, so it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, she's not going to be black. She's going to be red and Tatuga. white. Tatuga, orange and white, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, yeah. Whatever actress said it, I don't know, I don't remember what actress it was, but I remember seeing the photo of her and being like, oh, I'm big enough for that. The thing is, like, they've got to be extremely careful, because, uh, I mean... I mean, you don't watch Clone Wars, but people who are followers of Clone Wars and all that sort of stuff, and Rebels, they are fucking diehard fans for Ahsoka. You know? Mm. They fucking, she, as far as they're concerned, she was the main character of the series. And they fucking love her. So, if they bring her into The Mandalorian and fuck her live action... Part of the reason I character. love The Mandalorian, though, is because it's so isolated. Like, it's its own thing. Mm. It's like you look at the sequel trilogy, it's a fucking mess and it's a fucking well, nightmare. You don't need to be a part of it. That's no, 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 no. It, it, it's his own thing. It's a story <laughs> of the lone gunman protecting the fucking Yoda baby. I mean, to be fair though. They did bring the dark searching, saber into it and shit. And there was the force. So, it, I mean, if there are. It's in if Star he's, Wars. If he's searching for force sensitive shit, will you not seek out any remaining Jedi he can find? And she's not even a Jedi. Yeah, she's like, she's, she's, a gray, she's like a grey Jedi, yeah. yeah. She's not, she's certainly, every single time anyone brings her up as a Jedi, she fucking shuts him down. I mean, I can, it, it's weird, because I kind of feel like Disney has, like, blatantly failed with this big block bus, blockbuster new trilogy. But they're succeeding when it comes to... Like, world scary. building, yeah. and like, the IP of Star Wars is so alive and thriving. Maybe that's not just them, maybe that is just because... Star Wars has such a big, massive fan base. But like, it's just like the, the Mandalorian was kind of like a little. Oh no, they've still got it. You didn't say it, it was oh, custard. I was, I was about to fucking say it. <laughs> I am a little bit more there, right? <laughs> A little bit more than that, mate. Maybe a little bit more put than that, mate. Yeah, yeah mate. that's what I thought, mate. Oh, mate, maybe a little bit more than that, mate. No, would give me a bit more than that. I oh, didn't say that it was custard. It's just like, it's like, nah, nah, nah alright. Like, uh, the, the prequels, some people might say they weren't good films. The sequels, some people might not say they were good films. We got like three good films in like, what, 40 years? It's like, I would right. say we got five. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But yeah, it's like, you know, no, nah, we're, still, we're still going. I mean, the, we're the, still going. The future's in series. Yeah, well, just the Mandalorian. It's like, look at this. We can make good Star Wars. Dude, I know, I know you don't like Clone Wars, but the, like, the, the fan base behind the Clone Wars is insanely, like, dedicated to. Mm. So it's like, and Disney realizes that's why they brought back season seven. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've made a lot of mistakes, but they've been able to stand back and go, hmm, nobody wanted to see Solo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nobody liked how poorly written The Rise of Skywalker was. Hmm. We'll hold everyone back. Hmm, we'll bring Clone Wars back, you know. They're a corporation that they stand back and they see what the fan, they see where the money comes in. The thing I like the most about it, let's forget the money for a moment. Money, money, money. 
the thing I like the most about it is the the Mandalorians how they're trying to increase how much the general viewers of Star Wars know about them. Yeah, By yeah. Adding them more into the Clone Wars. Well, I'd say it's it's, it's I, own... if there is an old Republic thing. The Mandalorians, I'd say, will play a pretty major part. Yeah, I say it's own isolated thing. But watching that without watching the Clone Wars, there was a lot of like Mandalorian mythos and lore. Well, before the like, Clone Wars, Wars came, happened? before the Clone Wars came out, was the Mandalorian Boba and Django, right? Boba was the, oh, the and Django the Fett Fett Republic. In the, well, in the Knights of the Republic, they were a force, you know. But then they they died. They lost against Revan. In the Battle of Malachor Five, when Revan like activated the mass shadow generator, which was like this evil weapon of mass destruction, which basically turned the planet's gravity against itself, which killed every life form on the planet, Jedi, Mandalorian alike. So he killed his own men in, and the Mandalorians in order to win the war. Yeah, which basically is his final act before he fell to the dark side. Yeah, <laughs> filling all those screams in the Force. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he basically did that, which was wiped the Mandalorians off the face of the planet. And then at the ending of Night Soul Republic 2, you talk to Darth Traya, which is like... The, the beauty about Darth Traya's character is she is a seductive old woman, right? She was mm -hmm. like, she was a part of the Jedi Order, she helped train Revan. Yeah. And he, she was the one who convinced him to go off and fight the Mandalorians. Yeah. Because she didn't agree with her counsel. She was turned, she was never a light side, she kind of like delved in the dark side and so on. And then she went to Darth Traya became a Sith and but she didn't agree with them either she thought yeah. that both sides are corrupt they're shit yeah and then when she meets your character in Nice Little Puppet 2 she starts twisting you in her own way she thinks she's a light side but she says some blah 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 she ends up making you track down all the Jedi Masters and then she like drains the life force from all the Jedi Masters that are left in the galaxy <laughs> and says that they failed her and so on and so forth and then you end up facing her and blah 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 you basically at the end of the game the absolute end you finally defeat her She's so fluent in the force, you can't fight her. You're fucking fighting lightsabers that she is like telekinetically controlling. Anyway, so you ask her all these questions before you finally put her out of her misery. Mm. And she explains about what, what happens to the Mandalorians. And she goes, they will die a quiet death. They will never regain their former glory. And they will, they will die a death that lasts a millennia. Which basically, that, that's the exact line she says. I it, like that. It's basically, Explaining how they 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 try they and try to lot these bounty hunters and so on, try and mm -hmm. reclaim themselves. Because there was there was a character who was in Nice Yoda Republic One, Candorous Auto, who was a former Mandalorian who was a bounty hunter. Yeah. Until he meets Revan, who's your yeah. main character. And then in the second game, he is he joins you again, but he joins in the second game as Mandalore. Like he's reclaimed mm. the armor and he has says himself is Mandalore. Yeah. Like, to try and bring the Mandalorians back together. But so many Mandalorians you meet, you try and bring into your fold. Yeah. So many of them are like, no, nah, fuck off. You're not Mandalorian. You have to fight them and so on and so forth. Yeah. And he never once says that he's Candorous Auto. Mm. I think he does in one conversation if you gain enough influence. But you can, his, his voice is the same and you, yeah. you figure it out. He's, he, he says for Clan Auto, which is Candorous Auto. So it's like hints and... Yeah. But yeah, he's obviously trying to rebuild it, but basically she just straight up says, it's nothing. They never regain their former glory. Which I like I, that. I, I think that should be the story. I feel, and then they, the, the final battle of the Mandalorians was when Count Dooku led the Jedi against the last battle against the Mandalorians, and that's where Jango Fett was the final Mandalorian. But then... Oh, sad no. But then, you know, now Mandalorians are mm. a thing again. <laughs> but that was originally what it, was, what it was. Yeah. So that's why Jango Fett was like, holy shit. He's the last of the Mandalorians, this yeah. amazing warrior race. race yeah. you know? yeah, I kind of that climb was. The point of the story. <laughs> That's right. The point of the story is it doesn't matter if Picard is good or bad. It doesn't matter <laughs> if Obi Wan is good or bad. It doesn't matter if Vikings is good or bad. It doesn't matter if the new sequel trilogy is good or bad. It doesn't matter. If the Knights of the Republic movies are good or bad, or the Obi Wan series is good or bad. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. What matters is we're going to be here to review and rant about. Yes, we will enjoy everything. Whether it was good or bad, I would love to see elderly Lucas. <laughs> Give it. What was I I just. I'm imagining like this old man, like, you got complete control. 
281 old man. What are you doing? He puts his hood up like Sidious. You know what would be an awesome kick in the teeth though? If you release like something. And it was great. Amazing. I mean, and we're going to go through this when we review the original trilogy and when I'm probably going to review Indiana Jones just by myself at my desk. But we're going to go through like the prequel trilogy and Lucas and what he was then and what Lucas was when he created Star Wars and what he was when he created Indiana Jones and what he is now. But yeah, I would love to see what he is now and what he's doing now in his ideology. And it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. The point is we're going to review it. And if it's good or if it's bad, it's going to be enjoyable to analyze. Yeah, it will be. It always is. It always is. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I know how bad. If you guys would like, subscribe in the comments. Tell us how. My name is Kat.